Steve, N8AR, and I'm part of the Kits for Hams team. I want to take a few minutes to talk about our new Sherry Pie Hat Mod 2 PC board. Uh, we developed this board because the our Pi Hat board is designed to be used specifically with the Argon 40 Neo case and a Pi 4. The problem is, as you all know, Pi 4s have become very hard to find. And a lot of people that were interested in building our kits had Pi 3s laying around and wanted to use those Pi 3s. So to do that, we had to uh, come up with a new case. So we ended up with a case from Unistorm that can be used with either a Pi 3 or a Pi 4. But there are Pi hat board would not fit in this case because it's about 1.4 inches, 0.14, excuse me, 0.14 inches wider at the end to bring the LEDs up next to the end of the case so they can be viewed through holes we drill in the case. So we decided to design a different Pi hat board use the standard pi hat form factor and uh, we put a few more features on it while we were at it let me set one of those boards here so i can talk about some of those features it's kind of like a swiss army knife here that we have a location for a vertical connector or we can use a edge mount connector. It'd be better to show it from the other side, an edge mount connector. And to bring the USB signal from the Pi onto the board, we add, have a couple ways to do that now on the Pi hat board. Uh, it's used with the Neo case. We use a small JST connector. We have that connector on this board. There's a location for it here, or it can be installed on this side of the board. And that uh, connector is used with a JST cable, a couple wires that go down and are soldered to the USB port on the Pi. We also included a micro B connector right there so that uh, connection could be made with a external cable and I'll show you what that's about in a minute and we also included a connector to connect a 5 volt fan we since added this particular uh, feature to the stand, pi hat board that's used with a neo too that also has a two pin pin header connector for five volts for a fan otherwise it's uh, essentially the same board as used on the uh, pi hat i'll call it mod one board where we have the SA818 RF module, CM108 USB audio chip, and an associated circuitry. So just to talk about this uh, board and how it can be used, uh, as I said, it's inside this box here. And you can see how that fits right in there in the side this case uh, that we used for the 
what we call the Sherry Pie Hat Unistorm Case Sherry. And but it can be used in other ways also, and that's really part of what I wanted to talk to. So let me there's a what do we have here? A Pi 3 Model B. And I'm going to plug that in right here. And here I have a Pi Pi plastic case with a cover. So I can take this stack that I just plug together, drop it into this plastic case. Never works like it's supposed to when you want it to. I think I'm getting close. There we go. Latched in place. You note that I filed a small notch in it to allow access to that connector to get my USB connection. I'm going to take this right angle connector cable bring it around here, right angle cable. And there we go. We have a node. Of course, we need an antenna on it and a cover and it clicks into place. Put the antenna on. Very quick way to build a node. Let me open this back up. I wanted to it's kind of a nifty little case. I know this is a blur that you're seeing there. We can also put the connector on the other way. So it comes out the end like this of the case. And then we use one of our JST cables. I don't have one here with me, but it's completely internal. We thread it, plug it in here, run it through the hole here, and then we solder it to pads, uh, test points, a better way to say it, on the USB connector. It's all in our instruction manual instructions for building a Sherry Pi Hat Unistorm the unit. However, with the shortage of, of pies, uh, it turns out that there's another nifty thing you can do. I have here a Pi Zero W right there. And I have it plugged into a Ethernet USB hub board from WaveShare. So I now have a Ethernet port and three USB ports. This now boots and runs ham VOIP just fine. So in this case, the same situation, I should do this where you can see. Plug that guy in there, different board. Actually, I wanted to show you the other board, so now I got to go through the job of Removing this. Get it over where I can work on it. You'll note that 
again that the connector is the micro B connector has been removed on this board. We remove it because in a this kind of a case, it would need relief to come out through the case. So this board's available with or without that connector on it. For this kind of a case, you would not want it on it. Something like this, where you want to do what we, I just showed you why in the plastic case, you would want it on it. You, it can be taken off real easily if you have a hot air to uh, heat it up and, and pull it off. But we'll take it off for you before we send it to you. So I'm going to go back to the uh, board that has that connector on it. And I'm pulling that off right now from the pie. And I'm going to plug in my Pi Zero wave shear. And of course, we can do the same thing with this. Plug it into the wave shear board there. Or if we want it all internally, this is even an easier connection. A little cable that I made up, nothing but a type A with the short, very short uh, JST cable, soldered it on, put a little heat shrink on it. And I'm going to plug it in now. And we'll have an internal connection here for the USB. I must say, this is the first video I've made on YouTube, so. <laughs> I hope I'll get better as uh, we go along. So, put that in the box. Run a couple cables in to bring power to the Pi Zero and an Ethernet, or use the onboard uh, Wi-Fi. In fact, if you don't want the USB connection there. Um, and we're willing to make up a cable or, again, you can solder it to these two pads, this cable to these two pads to have an internal connection also. So lots of possibilities. I haven't looked around to find a box for that. But um, that's what I wanted to show you is this, uh, again, our new I had mod 2 board and uh, options, things you can do with it. So thanks for listening. I'll try and do a better job on my next uh, video. But <laughs> I finally was able to figure out how to make a video. So I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. Seven threes for now.